Welcome back. The first ever naloxone vending machine at a public library in Indiana now in full swing. It's one of 19 to be placed statewide for community members to use and save lives. News 8's Camilla Fernandez spoke with the family that knows firsthand how critical this could be. I find it very sad that we have that need, that it is a need. That's the world we live in today. Tammy Stucker says she's grateful that her son's life was saved after receiving Narcan. He is doing well today, clean, sober, and progressing with life. And so I'm thankful that he had that opportunity to have that administered to him and save him. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, last year, Indiana reported a 21% increase in fatal overdoses. State officials say this vending machine, which holds up to 300 kids, is a practical tool to prevent overdoses and save lives. There you go. And it is recommended that people take two to four doses each. So that's um, because sometimes it doesn't work the first time or sometimes it appears to work and then it wears off and so they may need an, another dose of it. The vending machine is located at the Kokomo Howard County Public Library main location on North Union Street. According to library officials, each kit includes a single dose of naloxone and instructions, as well as a referral to treatment dealing with substance use disorder. All you have to do is press an available key combination on the pad and the kit will drop to the bottom. It's completely free of charge. It's awesome that when the need is the arises, it's readily available. I do hope that whoever attempts to help that person kind of knows a little bit about what they're doing because it can do more harm than good. It's only available when the library is open from 9 a.m. until 8 p.m., but there is also an alox box outside the building filled with kits. Maybe if it was at a jail or some other place or the police station, you know, there's a little bit of a stigma of going into those places, so I feel like it's just a safer place for people to feel more comfortable to be able to get um, maybe a medication that could save a loved one's life. Camilla Fernandez, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.